Melting curve of helium near absolute zero. Helium remains a liquid down to absolute zero at atmospheric pressure, but becomes a solid at sufficiently high pressures. The density of the solid is, as usual, greater than that of the liquid. Consider the phase equilibrium curve between the solid and liquid. In the limit as t goes to zero, is the slope vp dt positive, zero, or negative? Use your knowledge of the general limiting behavior of entropy. Now we have the clausius clapeyron equation dp bar dt is the change in entropy divided by change in volume uh, at S2 minus S1. This could be per molecule or per mole V2 minus V1. Now uh, we have the third law of thermodynamics. The third law of thermodynamics tells us the behavior of entropy as t goes to zero. Uh, so this law states that as t goes to zero, uh, because the number of accessible states will be approaching one, uh, the entropy uh, must go to zero, or if it's a degenerate ground state, S0, a small value, a constant small value. So uh, what will happen as t goes to zero is that uh, as t goes to uh, zero, we will have the entropy change will be going to uh, zero minus zero for the two phases or S zero minus S zero for the two base phases. So therefore we will find that dp bar dt must be approaching zero. So the answer is the slope has to be zero. <clears throat> now here you can see the phase equilibrium curve of helium. So um, here we have phase equilibrium curve of helium. And you can see that it is a liquid uh, down to absolute zero, but if you have a, a, a sufficiently high pressure, it becomes a solid. Actually, it has a liquid phase, superfluid phase, and a solid phase, uh, or a super liquid. Uh, now, what we see is that the slope between the solid phase and the liquid phase approaches uh, zero here because of the third law of thermodynamics. If you look at a typical behavior of other substances, that, that display a triple point, solid, liquid, gas, triple point, there you also see that the slope of pressure uh, versus uh, temperature, P bar versus T curve, also approaches a slope of zero. And if you remember, for water we had a different situation. Uh, for water we had uh, this dP bar dT having a negative um, slope so this was for water phase boundary uh, so here it's said that the density of the solid is greater than that of the uh, liquid so the when we go from the solid to liquid phase the entropy increases and also the volume uh, is going to increase so therefore uh, we have the typical behavior uh, so we have the positive slope uh, in the um, in this part of the uh, helium equili uh, phase equilibrium curve, but for water we had the atypical behavior. Okay, so in summary, the third law of thermodynamics states that the entropy must be approaching a constant value as t goes to zero. So the entropy change between the two phases will therefore approach a constant value, and Clausius Clapeyron equation uh, tells us that the slope of the phase equilibrium curve is given by delta S over delta V per particle or per mole and uh, it, it, it will be approaching zero.